Hey everybody, I'm back for another video review and this time we are looking at the Mighty Morphing Power Rangers 2010 Dino Megazord set which is a re-engineered, retooled and remastered version of the 1993 Mighty Morphing Megazord set. Now, I'm going to try and be quick here because I've done some takes of this already and it's already gone over 15 minutes so yeah I'm gonna be brief on these toys because I want to get the many features that these different things have uh, so anyway we have the Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger and Tyrannosaurus um, all of these toys have gone through changes from their originals, you know, it's a retooled, remastered version, so... Yeah, I hate the petty argument about, oh, the quality in the plastic has changed, these toys are smaller, and the fact that just all those things make it a crap toy, you know... Just because it isn't the original doesn't mean that you should blame it. It's like grandparents or parents blaming you for playing video games. You don't see a problem in it, other people do. So, yeah, just think of your grandparents when you say this toy isn't like the original. I was like, those kids play those video games! I don't want them playing those damn video games! But, anyway, um, <laughs> So, yeah, just just think of that when you look at this set. It is changed to fit with the modern times, and it's also changed to make you pay less. So, don't forget, Bandai isn't Hasbro people. They have to lower the... well, lower... Uh, they have to make budget cuts in the materials in order to save money in your wallet, which, if they re-release the original, it would cost lots of money and they would put it on re retail around 60 I would say um, but hey if you're a collector and you can afford the original on eBay then go get it but anyway um, the Mastodon here very nice indeed very true to the original doesn't really do nothing but <laughs> the heads a little more lower I will admit that and of course the tusks and the horns and everything is all now rubbery plastic of course to meet with the modern toy legislation and toy standards and so on and so on it you know that's the reason why that is and also you can't lose them so that's a good thing um pterodactyl is possibly the most changed sorry my voice is breaking um <laughs> oh dear but yeah the pterodactyl is the most changed as you can see, it's gone through a total redesign in terms of its shape. Same with the Tyrannosaurus, it's had a total squish. And it's essentially become a lot more well designed because it now actually looks like the chest piece. Unlike the original, which was like a flat piece of plastic that you just slapped on the front and of course the stickers have changed all the stickers have changed they're about 95 percent accurate to the show which is a good thing but yeah the stickers have changed they're not like the originals but anyway uh, pterodactyl has been the most changed out of all of these a lot of people say that this is the least changed however they're wrong that it's the most changed because of the different shape in the chest, the different design that's here and it's here and the wings, the head's not really changed and also this bit has just been left out but yeah so he he is the most changed. The Triceratops, you know, standard Triceratops features a new peg hole there, insert sexual pun here, in fact I don't actually insert anything but um, uh, the cannon has now changed to this solid piece, I don't know why, but, you know, whatever. And uh, the horns are now rubbery, so you can't lose them. 
So yeah, it, it still carries on the same features as the original, just has has no wheels. Uh, same with the Saber Tooth Tiger, gone through a little bit of a remold. Again, I'm trying to be as brief as possible in order to save time and explain myself on the Dino Tanker and the Megazord mode. Um, again, hole for the peg joint, um, legs, no wheels, we all know the story. And the Trice uh, Tyrannosaurus. <coughs> the Tyrannosaurus has been squished down in terms of his body, so he's a lot more broad, well not broader, but a lot more squished together and he's a lot more fatter here, which makes the arms look a little small, I will admit that. On the original the arms did come um, a little more further forward, but the, the way that the chest is shaped here it makes the arms look a little smaller, smaller than they should be. Um, but that's no fault of Bandai's. Um, the tail has been remoulded, so it's no longer going to split in half or whatever. Um, new peg joints, of course, to accommodate for the new um, vehicles that will combine with the Megazord set. Um, that's also the changes that the Mastodon's gone through, only that you can't see them at the moment. And yeah, the head's changed a little. I mean, you can actually move it up now, and you've got the sticker that goes in the mouth. So, yeah. That's it for the Tyrannosaurus. You know, it has articulation. I'll go through that. I mean, I mean, it's the main unit for the whole entire Megazord configuration. So, of course, it's going to have articulation. Um, but, yeah, that's it for that. Okay, so Dino Tanker, or the Dino Tank. We take the Tyrannosaurus, we take Triceratops and Sabertooth Tiger. Red, yellow and blue. These are the only three colours that have existed throughout Super Sentai um, and the only colours that haven't changed through Super Sentai. There's always been red, yellow and blue. So anyway, take Triceratops Fold that up like that. Save tooth tiger. Do that, fold up the fangs and the tail. Now a lot of people get this wrong, but you collapse the legs to that point there. You don't collapse them all the way. Um, a lot of people get that wrong. And you don't do anything with the tail. Don't do anything with the tail. And you just peg them together like that. So that's how it should look. Then we have the Mastodon. Pull off the Mastodon's head. Make the arms as you would do. However, when we're going to attach it on, we're going to do something. We're going to stick it on and clip it on, like so. And we're going to pull off the arms. Now you can see here we have limb swapping joints. And these are the same peg, these are the same size pegs that are on the knees. So, yes, there is, you can have that. Which is really funny, actually. You can actually do that. But, yeah, but, anyway. It's to accommodate the new vehicles and so on, which is, comes with the figures. I don't understand why you would have that. But if you had other Zord set, sets that did that you know, that could add limbs to it, then I'm all for it. As long as they match the Zords in with the new, you know, with the old designs. But anyway, so we do that. So the hollow pieces are now gone. We get the cannons from the pterodactyl, and we put them on the tricer uh, Mastodon's feet. Just make them straight and uh, we take the mastodon head and put it on the front here peg it in and finally take the pterodactyl fold in the wings and what I like about this is if you fold it in all the way the wings clip the head into place so that head won't move I like that little feature not intentional I don't think but 
it's nice it, it, that it does that. And there we have the dyno tank, how it's actually meant to be. Um, this is how it's 100% meant to be. Um, some people fold the tail up, some people have the wings out. You know, I can totally understand that because, number one, when you see it on the show, it doesn't give a clear picture on whether the tail is either down or whether the wings are out, so I can understand that. What I don't understand is why people don't bend the legs. You know, it's in the directions. If you read the directions and so on, you should be able to follow simple instructions. But this is how the dino tanker is meant to look, and this is how it actually looks in some pictures that you see online. Very rare to see pictures on online of this guy. Not on the particular toy, but on the dino tanker looking like this. Um, but anyway, the dino tanker is simple. Well, the dino tank, I call it dino tanker. It's just something I grew up with. Um, yeah, and also that's the reason why they remoulded the tail because the tail went straight down and it kind of unclipped itself several times so yeah they actually remolded the tail for that and yeah very nice mode it looks good on display I will admit you know I'm happy to have this on display like this however it's not practical with the amount of space I have but anyway great mode you know I would be scared to see this come down the street, I will admit <laughs> that. Um, yeah, love, love the dino tank, it brings back so many memories. So yeah, now, the Megazord mode is pretty much the dino tanker standing up. So, if if we want the uh, Megazord mode, all we do is fold up the legs, break the Sabertooth's neck, break the Tyrannosaurus tail, and fold it up and click it into place, move the legs down, and uh, move the camera up so you can see it quickly. Swap the arms, well, remove the cannons first so they don't pop off. Swap the arms around because we swapped them before. Swap that round like that. Same again. It's stupid that you have to do it, but you know, when you're doing it, it makes you instantly aware of that pegs, which is a brilliant, brilliant selling feature for the for the toy. Then you just open that up. I always use the Mastodon head to do that you know, habit, and then fold that down. Now, it's not that the head joint has changed, it's because of the way the head's shaped that that has difficulty, uh, ha that has makes that have problems going into there. It's just the way the head shaped, it's nothing to do with the, the fact that the hinge has changed, and then the pterodactyl just fits on there, like that. And then we have the classic horns. And just simply stick the cannons on the back, and that's it. The Megazord is now in its Megazord mode. So, overall, I will admit this Megazord is more in proportion with what was on the show. You no longer have the Thunderfires, you have what apparently be, you know, you can believe these to be knees, you can, you know, pretend that these are elbows still. You know, and he is a really, really good toy. You know, he's okay, he's different from the original, but just because he's different doesn't mean that it's changed any of the things that he could do. In fact, actually, it's maximized the things he can do because now, due to the peg joint, you now have movable rotation on his legs. So now he can do that. So yeah, um, ultimately these changes would affect things that would later go on in the line, if the line continues. 
Um, he does come with a power sword, of course. It's made out of rubbery plastic due to toy safety standards, of course. We all know that stuff. And it still does the same thing. Mastodon's head is a shield. And, yeah. Just stick that in. So, is the... <coughs> sorry, my voice is going. Um, so, is the Dino Megazord, quote-unquote, uh, Mighty Morphing Megazord remake worth it. Well, for $25 for, re you know, for retail, definitely. Okay, you have changes, but, you know, like I said before, changes are expected, you know, and should be anticipated. And, uh, anyway, this toy, you know, we all know the articulation of the toy. You know, it has barely any leg movement and so on, so I'm not going to go all through that because we all know what that is. Um, yeah, I do really recommend you get it. I got this on eBay. Now, it's not out in Europe yet, so don't think you can go out and just buy this on a shelf if you're watching from the UK. So, I got this on eBay. It cost me around 35 pound. Or did it cost me £30? I think it cost me £30. Um, but, yeah. So, it is worth it. And also, with this being, you know, with this being this whole thing with Bandai about these toys being released in America and then re releasing them in Europe one year after, you know, I got a toy one year after. And, okay, I may, may have spent a little more, but... The fact is, it's one year early. But anyway, I do really recommend this. $25 at Walmart, maybe even cheaper in US retailers. Um, I wouldn't expect this in Europe for another year, so don't expect that you can just go out and buy this, people, for you in Europe. But, um, yeah, 100% approve of this figure. Um, definitely a lot more better for display, you know, in terms of the robot mode, dino tanker mode, it's a lot more small, a lot more proportioned, and I, I just really do like it, you know. I didn't buy it for nostalgia reasons, I bought it because I wanted it. Um, and yeah, it is a very, very good toy. Just because it has different plastic and, re you know, different materials, doesn't mean that it's a crap toy. So anyway, um, I've rambled on long enough and my voice is going like crazy and I'll see you guys later.